This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into the workout, check out the Instagram post for the warm-up. We want to make sure you're getting ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate, increasing your body temperature, and you may start to swell a little bit before you get into it. For today's strength portion of the workout, we're going to be working on the suitcase dumbbell deadlift. This is the same idea as if you had a suitcase on either side of you, and then you were going to stand up with those suitcases in either hand. So I have my dumbbells on the floor. I'm going to bend down. I want to make sure when I bend down that I am going sending my hips back. And then once my hands are about the same level at the point of my knees, then I'm going to drop my hips and shoulders together at the same time, get low enough to grab my dumbbells and stand up. Now you may find that you need to alter the angle of the dumbbells to maintain a good position. So if I'm picking up the dumbbells here, hands will go back, and then I drop myself down. If I'm here, notice that I'm kind of in this really crouched position. Even if I get lower, I'm not in an ideal position. So if I pull the dumbbells up a little bit, now I'm in a better position to stand and have it more of an upright chest. I'm not so rounded up through my, bed, through my shoulders there. So if I go down from this angle, hips go back, and my chest falls, and once my dumbbells or hands are at about this level of my knees, then I drop hips and shoulders together. One in the dumbbell that needs to touch the floor, maintain eyes forward or slightly out in front of you, engage the shoulders, flat neutral spine, and stand up through there. So hips go back and down, and as I stand the dumbbells, stand the dumbbells up, hips and shoulders rise. Once the dumbbells are at my knees, hips forward, shoulders back. You're gonna do, for the strength portion, build to a heavy three reps over five sets. Or build as heavy as you can in those five sets over those three reps. And if you're limited on the amount of weight that you can go up to, then add some tempo. So go down slower to put the dumbbells down and then try and explode out of the bottom position while maintaining a good neutral spine. Once you're done the strength portion, we're going to continue using the same depth of technique that you really worked on in the strength portion for the Metcon. The Metcon is the workout, it's a benchmark workout called Diane. Diane is 21, 15, and nine rep rounds of dumbbell deadlifts. And for the dumbbell version, we're gonna be doing pike push-ups. So round one, in the first round, 21 dumbbell deadlifts into 21 pike push-ups. And then you go into 15 and 15 and then finish with nine and nine. The dumbbell, the deadlift should look as much like the original deadlifts that you did in the strength portion and really focus on maintaining that good, that technique. So now we're adding a speed component because we want to get through this workout fast. We want to be quick, but we don't want to go so fast that our temp, that our positioning and our posture go out the door. So if you look at form, if I'm starting this good form, Sending my hips back first, and I'm driving my feet through the floor, and I'm standing up nice and tall. I'm engaged through my midline and through my shoulders the entire time. Now, a bad or a not so great form is going to be just bending over. So I'm just bending over my waist. I'm not bending my knees, and I'm not seeing active my shoulders. And from here, when I go stand up, this is all going to be with my back. So if I want to correct this, bend my knees, shoulders back, eyes forward, and then stand up through there. Notice how my back was corrected there. Once I'm done my push up, my uh, deadlift, have a box. I have a box here uh, that's going to allow me to get my feet up in the air and get into a pike position. So I want to get into the pike position, getting myself as upside down as I can, and then touching my head in front of my fingers to the floor and pushing back. Another option for the handstand push up is you can also have another set of dumbbells and do stand, uh, seated strict dumbbell presses. So you're gonna wanna go through 2159 rep rounds of deadlifts, pike pushups, or you can scale to a seated dumbbell press. Get through that as quickly as you can while maintaining good form. Remember, quality over quantity and speed. Though the quality should maintain 
when we add everything else into it. Get after it and have fun.